afternoon everybody how are you doing this evening this is pastor life as usual you know from providence rhode island coming into your offices your worlds wherever it is that this uh, broadcast is gonna meet you uh at the tone of my voice may the lord god almighty bless you and bless you immensely you guys know how we do i'm always driving when i'm making these videos someone told me yesterday that's dangerous i say yeah, it is dangerous there's a lot of things that christ went through that was very dangerous and he endured it and that's what i want to talk about today god bless you all i've covered the blood with the i've covered the line the broadcast with the blood of jesus and with the blood over each and every one of you that will be under the tone of my voice this evening may god bless you immensely amen i want to dive right into this topic because it's such a powerful topic for me and it's something that really touched my life each and every day but this morning was even intense because i just began to reminisce over what christ went through for us hmm. he suffered when we talk about the garden of gethsemane if i would make a topic if i would find a topic today i think i would make that my topic the Garden of Gethsemane. What a powerful moment. I've never seen that in my life as I began to picture it and read the word. How Jesus Christ of Nazareth felt with the pressure and the pain and the torment. Just, just thinking about taking the whole word issues on him. Father suffered for us. This is why it beholds us as children of the Most High God to stand, to stand by Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because what he went through for you and for me overwhelms the world. The Bible says that in, 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 when, he, when he enters with his disciples in, 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 in the garden of Gethsemane. The Bible says that he had this huge, you could see that Jesus, if you really read the word, you will see and try to picture that Jesus had this huge weight on him. There's this enormous weight on him that could, could not be broken. And, and, and he back of his father, please remove this thing from over me. Uh, but then he came back and said, if it is your will, my father and my God, so shall it be unto me. The Gethsemane process is a tedious one. And in the lives of many believers, sometimes you don't even understand that you're going through the Gethsemane process because you are within the process itself. And every time you are going through the Gethsemane process, that's when Satan attacks. Why Jesus was in, 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 in that place of uh, 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 solitary, where, why he was in that place was when the devil told i i yeah i can just i can just come in now and then i can just do my thing i can I, I, he began to tempt the lord god almighty he began to tempt jesus christ he, he satan began to speak in the ears uh, in the ears of jesus and say uh, well i don't know if you're able to take this with behind you uh, and he did not speak or he told his disciples to 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 sit and pray and when he got up and went to see his disciples, they were not praying. They were sleeping. And the Lord wants us to know in this day and time, you got to wake up out of your slumber. You got to wake up out of your sleep because the enemy, the devil, he is roaming back and forth, seeking whom he may devour. Seeking whom life he wants to attack. And so if you are not in a prayerful mood at all times, you are going to be attacked on every side. And you want, and it will come to you unexpectedly. Like it did the disciples. They fell asleep. Jesus says you are yet sleeping. 
when I only ask you to pray. Oh, Shabasa Yakatabasa. You are here sleeping. Why am I going through this torture of the mind? They didn't understand what he was going through. They kept asking each other, what, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? I realized that so many people ask the same question. What's wrong with them? Why they has why they got this this burden on them to save souls? What, what, what's wrong with them? Why is this burden of serving Jesus Christ is so high? What, what, what's really wrong with these people? They have no clues. That the Lord has placed a mandate over the lives of his children to and commission us to go out in the highways and the byways and bring back those that are that, 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 that have backslid. Bring back those that have been hated. Bring back those that are not loved. Bring back those. He wants to restore them to their no mercy. I hear somebody said this. Every disappointment is a blessing. That's right. Everything that the Lord had to endure was a blessing. Not even for him. But for you and for me. Everything that he had to go through was a blessing. Every trials and every tribulation, the very people that he preached to were the ones that crucify him. They said to him, crucify him. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. to be so careful in this day and time how we go about with the gospel I mean we got to be very careful in this day and time that we play not with the name of Jehovah we got to be careful in this day and time because God is resetting he, 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 uh, what, you see, what, what the Lord is doing in this season is that he's resetting atmosphere. He's resetting timing. He's resetting places. And that's going to be a rebound. Oh, Pastor Light, what do you mean a rebound? It means what they've done to you in darkness and in public to disgrace you is going to backfire on them. That's rebound. The way how the children of UK are dying and the people of UK are dying, get ready to see the hands of God move like fire. It's a rebound. What you put on others, what you sow, that shall you also reap. Rebound! That's the word for you this evening. Rebound. It comes back to you hundredfold and it messes you up. Because the Lord said, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. Jesus was, was crucified on the cross. And even on the cross, he did not, he did not complain. He, even on the cross, he said, my Lord, my Lord, forgive them for they know not what to do. My good God Almighty, that alone should take you to a place where you say, I am committed to serving my Lord for the rest of my life. Nothing or no one will stop me or hinder me from going to the deeper places where God wants me to go in order to change lives, in order to be a world changer, in order to be a life impactor in order to be a soul winner the bible said those that win souls are wise instead you are worrying about worldly things and, and, and about your house and, and your car and your fancy clothes those things don't matter let me tell you something the bible says again what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose your soul because definitely we all will lose our souls and when you lose your soul the soul leaves you and they enter into the hands of god that gave him that give you breath in your body and at that time point in time you see you won't be able to show god oh this is the house that you gave me that i built this is the disc that you gave God said, no, 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 I'm asking you for accountability. What did you do with your life on the earth? What, 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 what did you do with your life? My son came in the form of a human flesh and died for you. And yet and so you didn't believe that he was Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Messiah. Yahweh, Yeshua. 
folks. Keep your eyes on Christ. He suffered too much for us. He died a very terrible death. He bled. He was beat up. He was cursed. The crown of thorn was put, placed upon his head. What else do you need in order to prove that God loves you? What, what, what else do you need in order for Jesus to show you the nails in his hand? Like, like down in Thomas, you want him to actually show you the nails in his hands, in the palm of his hands? Read the word for your stuff. Bible says, study to show thyself approved. A watchman needed not to be ashamed. Rightly divided in the word of truth. What else do you need Jesus to do? He's done it already, but we continue to send him back to the cross. And this time and season is not the time to do that. This is the time to consistently pray and stay on, the, on your face. For what? For Jehovah. For God. For Yeshua. If you want your spirit man to be built up, then you're going to have to continue and, and be consistent in prayer. I love you guys so much. I got to go, y'all. Keep your mind on Christ and remember what he did for you. He suffered. He died. He was beaten. He had a crown of thorn on his head. He went up and above just for you. May God bless you. May the Spirit of the Lord strengthen you this evening. May he cover you in the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. I love you guys so much. Gotta go for now. Please subscribe, share, and comment. God bless you.